the first time tonight we're hearing from the family that owns a Decatur coffee shop, which police say a man intentionally set on fire. They have a warrant out for Ricky Thomas's arrest, but the family tells me the suspect worked at the store and was terminated just three days before the fire. She's right now a wreck. Um, we're trying to bring her through it. We're trying to tell her that there's good, bad and ugly in the world, but you know, she's not doing good. David Sticklin is talking about his daughter who owns Java Monkey in downtown Decatur. It's now a shell of what it used to be after a fire earlier this month. Smoke from the blaze also damaged nearby businesses. I found crews trying to clean those stores Tuesday, and Decatur police say this man is responsible for all of it. Ricky Hodges Thomas is wanted for arson in the first degree. Sticklin tells me the 28 year old used to work at Java Monkey and was terminated three days before the fire. He also tells me the suspect has a troubled past. And for police to suspect that a former employee may have done this, That's what does that mean to you? There's certain things we, we, we found out since this that I wish we would have known before, put it that way. Sicklin says although the fire destroyed his business, he refuses to let it ruin his daughter's dream. He says he bought the 25-year-old coffee shop four months ago for his daughter, who had been trying to get her life back on track after suffering and then recovering from brain tumors. The illnesses impacted her college plans. I refuse to let anyone stop anybody in my family creating their dream. I refuse. And whatever it takes, Whatever needs doing to rebuild Java Monkey bigger, better than it ever was, then that's what will be done. And police say if you have any information on the case or if you happen to know where Thomas is, contact Crime Stoppers. You can do that at 404 577 TIPS. You can remain anonymous. As for what's next for Java Monkey, the family plans to reopen the store in the early spring and they'll continue to host live entertainment at the venue, which will be renamed the stage at Java Monkey.